Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hi. It's Julia and and this is Shelly. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm okay. Working from home, but very happy to be teaching English to our Maya students. Yes, me too. So if you're following this broadcast, please say hello in the comment section. Hi, Angelo. Hi, Angelo. Hi, Massimo. Hi, Massimo. Guys, it's great to have you. Where are you right now? Hi, Ferdinando. Hello. <laughs> Shelly, where are you now? I live in San Donato Milanese near Milan. Mm -hmm. How about you? Well, I work in Milan, but right now I'm not at home. Mm -hmm. I'm in the mountains in oh. the Alta Valley. And I'm here. I cannot go anywhere. Right <laughs> now. I'm here in the house working from home away from home mm. it's okay i can open the window and and it's beautiful outside <laughs> what's the weather like in milan the weather is quite nice julia there's you know how milan is very polluted yeah and covered with clouds mm -hmm. it's clear oh wow it's sunny and beautiful wow Probably because there's less traffic right now. I think so. <laughs> it's and very lovely. Factories are closed, probably. What's that? Maybe some uh, like manufacturing plants are closed. Yes, I think most of them are. Wow. Yeah. What a crazy situation, isn't it, Shelly? I never would have thought, ever. But right. We're here. I know. Andrò tutto bene. Andrò tutto bene, ragazzi. Let's see. And at the end of this, your English will be even better. Yes. Guys. Thank you for being here. So Massimo is from Bologna. Angelo is from Rome. Ferdinando is from Novara. Hi. It's great, guys. I'm yeah. so to meet my yes students from all over Italy. Yes. This is a great opportunity for me. I'm really happy. I'm seeing new students every day mm -hmm. and I feel like we are one large my yes community all over Italy. So it's a great feeling to be together. <laughs> it's so nice. So hi from Milan kind Hello. of. <laughs> okay. Guys, so today's lesson is about recipes so please repeat for pronunciation recipes what does recipes mean what's the translation of recipes in italian Tell us in the comments. Yes, well done, Angelo. It has to do with food, that's for sure. Foods, more specifically. Singular is recipe. Ah. Yes, well done, Massimo. Wonderful. Okay. So today we're going to speak about food, about recipes. We're all at home right now and we cannot go out to eat at the restaurant. So we must cook at home. So yes. it's a great idea to share recipes. Here we go. Shelly, could you please read the slide? Of course. Recipes. In this focus activity, countable and uncountable nouns, food, imperatives, 
Okay, wonderful. Favorite food? Shelly, could you please read? Of course. Favorite food? Ask and answer the questions in the comments. Yeah. Number one. What is your favorite food? Number two. What is your favorite recipe? Number three. What is your favorite kind of restaurant? Number four. What are always the first three things on your shopping list? And number five, are there any foods that you hate? Okay, guys, we're really curious to hear your answers to these questions. So mm -hmm. please write the number of the question and your answer. Mm -hmm. So we can read some of your answers. We're very interested. Now, Shelly, what is your favorite food? My favorite food right now, because I can't eat it, is pizza. Yes, <laughs> I hear you, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I want pizza. Julia, we bought a lot of pasta and we have finished all of it. It is all gone. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> there are two people in my house and we have eaten all the pasta. <laughs> Well, how often do you go shopping? We try not to go very often. However, maybe once a week. Once a week is reasonable, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. How mm -hmm. often do you go shopping? Well, you know, here in the mountains, there's only a very small shop and they only allow one person in at a time so we go more often i'd say we go every one or two days get a little bit because mm -hmm. the type of shop is different it's a small grocery shop it's not a supermarket and they don't have everything so mm -hmm. kind of need to get yeah it. okay an answer from massimo my favorite food is pizza chocolate and meat delicious mm -hmm. now shelly mm -hmm. what is your favorite recipe my favorite recipe is cake i like oh. to make cake oh that's great what type of cake do you make? I like a recipe for chocolate cake that I make for birthdays. Mm. But yesterday, for breakfast today, I made a lemon cake. That is sounds delicious. So good. <laughs> Do you still have some or is it finished? No, no, there is a lot left. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's see Angelo's answer. My favorite kind of restaurant makes pizza, but I also like Mexican food and American food, especially the hamburgers. Wow, Angelo, you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. Those foods are delicious. Yes. So delicious, guys, what does delicious mean? Delicious means very tasty, very good. Shelly, what's your favorite kind of restaurant? My favorite kind of restaurant? Do you know the answer? No, I don't know you that well. <laughs> oh. Never been um, on 
Can you guess in the comments? I'm gonna say it in three, two, one. Pizza. <laughs> or what else? I also do like sushi restaurants. <laughs> So let's say this in the third person. Shelly's mm -hmm. favorite re restaurant. Is, what would you say is? Pizza. Shelly's favorite restaurant is pizza. Just all, all pizza, no. <laughs> and Massimo. My favorite kind is Italian restaurant. What else? Of course, Massimo, <laughs> Italian food is the best. And Ferdinando, my favorite kind of restaurant is Italian food and Japanese food. Yum. Now mm. you've got I'm hungry and I would like to order <laughs> food, but can't. <laughs> My, seriously, I was wondering because right now I am not in Milan or in a city, so I don't know what the situation is in big cities. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to order food? Right now? Let's say, for example, hmm. delivery services. Are they working? Or not? Yes. In this period Tell of time. Us. <laughs> Tell us because where I am, not really, no. Mm -hmm. However, I don't live in the center of town. Okay, now let's speak about a shopping list. Hmm. So, Kelly, when you go shopping, do you make a list? Yes, I do. What are all, always the things on your shopping list? Fruit, vegetables, and then usually eggs. Oh, very healthy, Shelly. Yes, the rest is beer. <laughs> and pasta. And pasta. Now <laughs> I need to buy pasta. We have one packet left, one package of pasta. <laughs> I mean, you guys, seriously, I hope I don't put on too much weight after the end of this quarantine. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> and okay, Angelo says, I think it's possible to order food. Oh, so okay. you are not ordering food, Angelo? Ferdinando, my first three things on my shopping list are vegetables, fruits, and rice, R-I-C-E. Very healthy, Ferdinando. Are you a vegetarian? Now, Shelly, are there any foods you hate? Hmm, are there any foods I hate? There are none. <laughs> I will eat everything. However, I prefer to eat foods that are healthy and not too um, manufactured, mm -hmm. like prepared snacks that come in plastic. I prefer not to eat those. I prefer to make my own cake. <laughs> That's great. You're a, a chef, Shelly. <laughs> Amazing. It's great to make your own food. Yes. Rob. It 
raw ingredients. So you guys were waiting for your answers, Massimo. My first three things on my shopping list are pasta, chocolate, and <laughs> nutritious, Massimo. Yes. Those are essential <laughs> for life. So well done, excellent. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'd say it's time to move on to our next slide. Shelly, could you please read? Yes. Number one, put the types of food into the right categories. Two, are they countable or uncountable? The categories are vegetables, meat, drink, or other. Tell us in the comments. For example, eggs are, and then the category. Our list, our types of food are eggs, tomatoes, carrots, cheese, beef, sugar, potatoes, coffee, chicken, milk, chocolate, salt, beans, butter, and flour. Wonderful. Thank you, Shelly. You're welcome. Okay, guys, please write the category in the comment section and the foods that belong to that category. Next to each food, write a capital C for countable or a capital U for uncountable. Now, let's review the concepts of countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns have a singular and a plural form. For example, egg is the singular form and egg is the plural form. This noun is countable because it has a singular and a plural. So countables are usually units. I'm taking notes. <laughs> Countables are units. You can identify individual pieces, individual units for countable things. Now let's give an example of uncountable. Milk is uncountable. It does not have a plural form. You cannot identify units. Milk is a liquid. If you want to quantify an uncountable noun, you must use a measure of um, a measure, let's say, of weight or of volume. So, for example, one liter of milk. And uh, so milk is uncountable. One liter is a countable measure. Let's come to verbs. Hi, Giuseppe. Thank you for joining us from Milan. Hi. Guys, now we want you to put these nouns into the cor correct category. Is it vegetables, Hello. meat, drink, or other? And... Is it countable or uncountable? So as we said, countable nouns have a singular and a plural form. So when we use the singular of a countable noun, we use a singular verb. But we use a plural when speaking about the plural. So for example, Eggs are healthy. Here I'm using the plural form. 
of a countable noun with a plural form of the verb to be. Speaking about uncountable nouns, they do not have a plural form, so you cannot use the plural form of the verb. You must use the singular form always. For example, milk is healthy. So this is the singular form of the verb to be. Hi, Rafaela. It's nice to see you again. Welcome back. Welcome, guys. So we're... <laughs> So Ferdinando has an answer for us. Ooh. So this is uh, vegetables, tomatoes, carrots, and potatoes are countable. Well mm -hmm. done. Very good. Ooh, a long one. <laughs> there we go from Massimo. Would you like to read it, Jelly? Yes. Eggs, countable. Tomatoes, countable. Carrots, countable. Beef, uncountable. Sugar, uncountable. Potatoes, countable. Coffee, uncountable. Chicken, countable. Milk, uncountable. Chocolate, countable. Salt, uncountable. Beans, uncountable. Butter, uncountable. And flour, uncountable. Hmm. Shall we see if Massimo is correct? Well, Massimo is, did a very good job there. Well done. A few of these could mm -hmm. be interpreted differently. Yes. <laughs> so, but all, when you see, well done, yes, really good. <laughs> well done. When you see a plural S ending, normally, you know it's a plural form, okay? Mm -hmm. So for beans, we have bean is the singular, and beans is the plural, and it's countable. Yeah. There are exceptions, but on different difficult words. So the other day we had species. So actually species. it was countable. It was well, whatever. Yes. The singular form was species. And yes. now <laughs> <laughs> there are many species of beans. It is countable. <laughs> there is one species. So anyhow, guys, amazing. So another one that I usually notice with my students is chicken. Is chicken countable or, or uncountable? What do you say, Shelley? Mm, I say it is uncountable. Well, I agree with you, definitely, Shelley. When I go- When it is in the fridge, when you yeah. have animals, it is countable. Exactly. So it has the two forms, actually. Mm -hmm. When it's meat, it's uncountable. When it's an animal, it's countable. Guys, where do you buy meat? What is the name? of the section at the supermarket. Ooh, that's hard. Meat. Now I would like to hear this mm -hmm. from you. What is this in English? So comment in the comment section. <laughs> Another very important uncountable noun is chocolate, okay? Mm -hmm. So you can say that chocolate is uncountable. And I would say, do you agree with that, Shelley? Yes. But on the other hand, there could be an exception. Mm -hmm. We can have a box of chocolates. Yes. Many kinds of chocolates. It can be plural in that situation when there's more than one type. And in that case, they are like 
individual units mm -hmm. countable in a box. So as you see, some of these nouns have a general use and mm -hmm. they can have an exception to the rule. So anyone, section at the supermarket where you buy meat? Guys, your comments. <laughs> It's a, a butcher. It's the butcher. Well done. Okay. <laughs> now I have one more question. Mm -hmm. It's not on this list, but it often is on our shopping lists. Fish. Ah. Okay. So, guys, is fish countable, uncountable? Does it have a plural? What is the plural of fish? Massimo, I always buy chocolate. <laughs> You're an expert of chocolate, Massimo. Yes. <laughs> Super. So fish, anyone? What's the plural form? So... I'd say for fish, we can say the same as we said for chicken. When it's a food, it's uncountable. Do you agree, Shelley? Yes, just like chicken or beef. When it's an animal, it's countable. One fish. What is the plural, Dr. Seuss? <laughs> <laughs> two fish. Yes. Okay. One fish. Two, two fish. fish. Red, Red fish. fish. Blue fish. Blue fish. <laughs> <laughs> that is the title of a popular children's book. Do they have it translated in Italian as well? I'm not sure. Anyone? <laughs> Do you read Dr. Seuss here? <laughs> Very famous um, American, right? Yeah. I believe so. I'm not sure, but maybe. Children's author. He might be Canadian. <laughs> wow. Uh, North American. <laughs> okay, good guys. So now I'll show you our list. Divided by categories. Uh, American, confirmed. Confirmed. Shelly, could you please read the list divided by categories? Sure. Vegetables, tomatoes, carrots, potatoes, and beans. Meat, beef, and chicken. Drink, coffee, milk. Other, eggs, cheese, sugar, chocolate, salt, butter, flour. Thank you, Shelley. So if there is any item on this list that is not clear to you, please write a comment and we'll answer your question. Yes, one question I get often is, what is flour? What is flour? And yes, we pronounce it the same as the plant. <laughs> flower and flower. Okay. Yes. Well done, Giuseppe. Great work answering in English. <laughs> Wonderful. Well done, Giuseppe. Okay. What's in your fridge? Well, a very difficult question at these times. Yes. <laughs> um, so I'd say, Shelly, I'll be red mm -hmm. and you can be blue, okay? Okay. Julia. 
Is there any milk in your fridge? Yes, there's some milk in my fridge. Are there any apples in your fridge? No, there aren't any apples in my fridge. Now, vocabulary. Freezer. So here we have a list of foods. Mm -hmm. And we are learning to form questions using countables and uncountables. So for affirmative sentences with a positive meaning, we use some. For example, yes, there's some milk in my fridge. This is a short contracted form for there is some milk. For the negative form, we use any. Now let's look at the negative plural. There aren't any apples. This is the contracted form for there are not any apples. Do you agree, Shelley? Yes, there are not any apples. Sorry, apples. And uh, for the negative singular, we would say there isn't any milk. There is not any milk. As you can notice, any is also used in the question forms. Here we need to pay attention to countables and uncountables. When the noun is in a singular form or is uncountable, we use the singular form of the verb, is. Is there any milk? Or for a singular, is there an apple? For the plural form, we use are. Are there any apples? So now, now guys, look at the list of foods and please write questions to us to ask us what is in our fridge right now because you all know that the situation is very strange and unusual. We can only go out for grocery shopping when strictly necessary. So it's a good idea to finish everything in the fridge before a new shopping trip. So ask us what is in our fridge right now. Now we have some answers from Giovanna. In my fridge there are, ah, dozen eggs. Now this is interesting mm -hmm. because Giovanna is right, eggs is countable, but the unit of measure, a dozen, is singular. So we would say there is a dozen. Do you agree, Shelley? Yes. There's a dozen eggs. That is a wonderful answer. Thank you, Giovanna. So you can make a lot of cake or omelet. Now let's see Massimo. Need to make bread, pasta and pizza. pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Does anyone make pizza at home? We'll reserve this question for the next 
slide. <laughs> now, are there any apples? Guys, what's in your fridge right now? And ask us questions about our fridge. Please form complete questions using any, any we use for answers and negative sentences. Okay, and for questions as well. And for questions. Okay, should we move Raphael. on? Absolutely. Now, some recipes. I'm getting hungry here. Ah. Ingredients. <laughs> Could you please read? We have a, an answer from the previous. Is there any fish in your fridge? <laughs> Directed to me. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, I have fish in my freezer. That's very smart, Shelly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, thankfully, we have freezers. Mm -hmm. So we can store food for a longer period of time. Yes. Do you have ice cream in your fridge or your freezer? Mm, I don't have any ice cream, <laughs> unfortunately. Actually, here in this house, I don't have a freezer. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have Let's our see. answers. Yay. Massimo. In my fridge, there are some yogurt and bananas. There isn't soy. And in this moment, okay. Now, here, let's look at some verbs, okay? Because yogurt is uncountable. Mm hmm. So we would say there is some yogurt. There isn't any soy, but I don't know what you mean for soy. Is it soy milk, soy products? Mm -hmm. Tofu. Tofu. <laughs> yes. Um, in this case, Massimo, because yogurt is the first thing you say, even if you add bananas, which are countable, we still use is. There is some yogurt and some bananas. Right, Julia? Would you say this is true? I'd say in, um, in use, this is what we use. So absolutely, Shelley. Yes. That's However... Good. If you said bananas first, would you would you change it? There are some bananas and yogurt. Right, yes. I would yes. say that. Okay. So that's how we use it, guys. Thank you, Shelly, for very a very interesting observation. Yes. Thank you for the question, Massimo. Now, Ferdinando. In my fridge, there are some milk. It, this is the same as um, Massimo's answer. There is some milk, eggs, cheese, and a lot of vegetables. We would use R if you said there are some eggs, milk, cheese, and a lot of vegetables. But there, uncountable, isn't any beef in my fridge. Absolutely, there, right. <laughs> Massimo's wife makes pizza for him. Lucky Massimo. <laughs> yes. Let's see Giovanna's answer. In my fridge, there is, is some fruit some vegetables, and a lot of yogurt. It's a little different in English, isn't it? However, if you said there are some vegetables, some fruit, and a lot of yogurt, that would be correct. But because we're starting with fruit, which the word fruit is uncountable, we say there is. We base it on the first of that list. 
Right, fruit is uncountable because it refers to an entire category. Yes. Of Let's read Rafael's. In my fridge, there are some eggs. There is some meat. And there aren't... Any. <laughs> Okay. Yes, Massimo, you're correct. There isn't any yogurt is correct. Okay, now let's move on to speak about recipes. What do you think, Shelly? Shall we speak about recipes? Yes, let's. Okay. Uh, I'm blue and you're red. Okay. Do you need any eggs? Yes, I do. How many eggs? Six eggs. Do you need any milk? Yes, I do. How much milk? I need a liter of milk. Okay, so here we see short answers. So do you need any eggs? The short answer is yes, I do. You use the auxiliary verb in the short answer. What would be the negative answer to this? Do you need any flour? Negative would be no, I don't. Again, with the auxiliary verb in your short answer. So now let's consider a recipe. Could we make your lemon cake, Shelly? Sure. Okay, so I'll ask you questions about what you need to make a lemon cake. Okay. Okay. Do you need any eggs to make a lemon cake, Shelly? Yes, I do. How many eggs? Two eggs. Okay, now I'm going to write the recipe because I want to make lemon cake. Okay, <laughs> lemon cake, guys. Let me so, look it up. <laughs> two eggs. So now let's write a recipe for. So two eggs. Yes. Okay. Do you need any butter? No. I don't, but no I need oil. Okay, how much oil? Hmm, I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking for the recipe. I need 180 milliliters of vegetable oil. Wonderful. Okay, so as you see, oil is uncountable. Mm -hmm. And the question is, how much for uncountables? Okay, do you need any milk? No, I don't. No milk. No milk. Do you need any sugar? Yes, I do. How much sugar? It's quite a lot of sugar. I need 385 grams of sugar. Exact, 85. <laughs> very precise recipe. Sounds very interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you need any lemon? Yes. I do. Fruits or juice? You need the zest Ooh. and the juice. How much lemon zest? One spoonful. Teaspoon or tablespoon? Tablespoon.
What is lemon zest, guys? Tell us in the comments, what is lemon zest? And how much lemon juice? You need 40 grams of lemon juice, or milliliters, sorry, 40 milliliters. This is getting really, really interesting. Yeah. So do you need any flour? Yes, I do. How much flour? Yes, and please ask us in the comments if there are any other ingredients you think should go in this cake. Um, yes, 300 grams of flour. Great. Okay, so now we have two eggs. I'm not sure I wrote that. <laughs> We have flour, lemon juice, lemon zest, sugar, vegetable oil. Anything else? Hmm, a few things, but not much. Did I say that you need yogurt? No. Yes, How I need yogurt. yogurt. Um, I need 280 grams of yogurt. Sounds like a great recipe, actually, shall we? Okay. Do you need any baking <laughs> powder? Uh, yes, you do. Two teaspoons. You also need, oh wait, yes, you need some baking soda. One teaspoon. Okay. Can you tell us in the comments what baking powder is? <laughs> Massimo is writing this recipe. Great. Very good. So you have a great recipe to make after this lesson. Yeah. Mm, anything else, Shelly? I think that is all the ingredients. I added a little salt in addition to the recipe. Very nice. Well, thank you for sharing your recipe with us, Shelly. You're welcome. Okay, guys, let's review today's language. So today we spoke about countable and uncountable nouns in the context of food and recipes. We identified some uncountable nouns, for example, Shelly. Uncountable nouns include coffee, milk, beef, chicken, butter, and flour. Right, absolutely. And we also said that chicken and fish have an exception. Yes, they are uncountable if they are meat, but they are countable if they're animals, living animals. Mm hmm great. <laughs> uh, Massimo has a question. Flavor. Uh-huh. Flavor yeah. means sapore. Mm hmm So the taste, flavor is the taste. Yes. Then we looked at questions about things mm -hmm. that there are or there aren't in your fridge mm -hmm. for singular and for uncountable nouns. We use the singular form of the verb. Is there any milk? Is there an apple? Singular. Mm -hmm. Or the plural form, are there any apples? 
Yes, and remember, if you have a list, use the verb for the first thing you list. In my fridge, there is some milk, some eggs, and some apples. Even though there are many things, use the verb for the first. Super, very interesting, Shelly. Thank you so much for being with us on yes, this lesson. Thank you. Wonderful thank job, you everyone. Guys. Really well done. So if you make the lemon cake, please let us know how it turns out. Yes, good luck. <laughs> turns out the result. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.